So in this case, we want EGLL to go to the reference airport where you see four dotted lines. So what we do is we press the we type EGLL and then we press the button that is next to the reference airport. And as you can see it filled it in and it also gave us the exact GPS coordinates of our position right now. And then the gate. The gate is not modeled in flight simulator, so there's no point in entering it. I don't even know what gate this is. I don't remember. So I will type G1 for example. But it yes, he probably not in, it's not in the database. And also in the scratch pad, it also shows advisory messages or errors that you may encounter such as this not in the database this is a very common one okay next page is the root page and this is where we start to enter in our root so now it asks us for the origin which we already entered see it's still in the scratch pad so we go ahead and put it there and the destination, which is Schiphol International Airport in Amsterdam of the Netherlands. And the ICAO code for the for Schiphol is EHAM, E-H-A-M. So we go ahead and enter that and put it into our destination. Now the next thing you see is company root. Company root is a very, very important thing because when you have air travel that is as busy as it is these days you do not have time uh, an airline uh, airline officials pilots do not have time to enter in the route manual because for example let's take a five hour flight from I'll give you an example from Toronto Ontario to Vancouver British Columbia and Canada that is approximately a five hour flight you do not want to enter in all those waypoints and jetways and intersections and you know reference speeds and altitudes and uh, wind uh, sorry not wind but uh, headings manually because that will take a long time and strictly speaking it's not efficient so what's what you what do you do well you pre-program it um, any company that any company has certain routes that they fly they don't just you know every day is different no they have certain routes that they fly all the time so it would make sense for them to pre-program those into the database and as we did here I before I started this tutorial I actually recorded I actually start I actually created the flight plan in an external third-party application so what you do to enter in a company route is, yep, you guessed it. It's basically made up of eight letter words. Eight letter, uh, sorry, eight, not eight letter words. One eight character word, which is basically the origin followed by the destination, all in one word. So in this case, we have E G L L and E H A M. So E G L L E H A M, and you enter it in the route company root and notice what happened you we now have a root so I'll go ahead and zoom out for you so you can see Oops, did it again okay so when you zoom out you can actually see that we now have a root complete with the runway that's displayed okay the next waypoint which is BPK 